Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at the reissued weapons from Iron Banner. I saved a bunch of bounties from last season and ended up getting two... I ended up getting the two weapons, but I ended up getting like three rolls of like, no, two rolls of the sniper and one roll of the finite impactor, which made me really sad because after using it for a while, I was like, fuck, dude, I could have, I could have gotten a better roll than this because the gun already feels good. So this is going to be a short video because I'm just going to be reviewing those two weapons. Once Iron Banner comes and we can get the new weapons, I'll review those. But I have a lot to say about those weapons considering they actually have a really cool story behind them. So let's talk about finite impact. It's an energy hand cannon in the adaptive frame family. It's 140. And what's really cool is that it's an arc weapon, which we don't really have that many if I remember correctly. I think we have one in from the raid. No, we do. We have one from the raid and we have one from from Dreaming City. Never mind. We have a bunch of these. Ignore that part. But the weapon itself is really fire. So let's look at the perks real quick. Under pressure, no distractions, firmly planted, heating up killing wind and slideways for the first row for the second row it's going to be eye of the storm iron grip iron reach multi-kill clip one for all and elemental capacitor so i unfortunately got a really bad roll on mine i say bad roll but it's only one perk that's really bad i ended up getting slideways and elemental capacitor now i know a lot of people are going to be like oh you got ele elemental capacitor i know people are, are going to be split one's going to be that's dog shit and the other one's going to be that's really good now it's good but i hate it at the same time so let's talk let's talk about the first perk first perk is slideways i'm not a big fan of it sliding partially reloads this weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts handling and stability uh the boost to that the handling and stability is so short that you really don't ever feel it and the weapon magazine thing it, it, it's not that bad of a reload so i don't really care if you're gonna ask me like what role would you have gotten killing win easily killing win this is a this is definitely a push weapon you're always going to be running towards people with this weapon so killing win boost that mobility and weapon range and handling for a short duration why would i not want to go for that that just seems like yes please give it to me and that's pretty much it heating up i don't see any benefit firmly planted i could see people arguing this pretty good for that especially if you're doing a a middle tree void hunter that's definitely going to be really cool no distraction is useless and under pressure maybe uh for the last roll i would i would definitely go for elemental capacitor multi-kill clip and maybe iron reach uh one for all is a terrible perk in pvp uh but in pve sure i guess but even then multi-kill clip does it better uh iron reach i can see people going for it because you are getting a negative 30 to stability but you are getting a plus 20 in reach and range so it's base stats it's 42 so you get it up to 62 plus like whatever whatever site you get whatever magazine you get will bump you up, up your range even more so maybe get maybe get max range I, you might never know but if you're asking me what i want i definitely just want killing wind and multi kill clip or killing wind and elemental capacitor those two are going to be the ones that i'm really going to want to go for mostly because elemental capacitor i already have but when you use an arc subclass you get a, bo a boost to handling plus 50 and the initial like the basic bitch handling of this is already at 50 so if you're using an arc weapon you'll get a hundred handling <laughs> it's really fucking ridiculous and i love it so uh, again this is like basic bitch like that's how the perks are or the stat is you could have something that takes your your handling away personally i don't have that if anything i got a few that give me even more handling so mine feels really snappy but it's just unfortunate that i got that i did not get killing wind because if i got killing wind and elemental capacitor with all the stats that i got i would easily made this my god roll but yeah that's definitely one of my favorite weapons right now i want to masterwork it but at the same time i just i hate slideways so much i really do <sighs> on special weapons i love it it's great on on weapons that are not special i'm just no that's not fair i think i love slideways on everything but primary weapons that's probably a fair assessment next weapon is going to be occluded finality it's an aggressive energy sniper rifle and 
I'm not a big fan of it. So let's look at the perks real quick. First, first row is going to be no distractions, auto loading holster, under pressure, surplus, mulligan, and snapshot sights for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be demolitionist, iron reach, elemental capacitor, eye of the storm, four bow weapon, and opening shot. So my, my criticism about this weapon is the fact that I don't know what it's trying to be. If it was trying to be like, if it was trying to be like a PVE weapon, then I don't know why it didn't have triple tap on this. You can't have fourth times charm because the magazine doesn't even have four, four ammo, so that makes sense. But if this had triple tap, then easily I could have been like, oh, this is gonna be a great weapon for PVE. Doesn't have that. It also, I could see it being a PVE, PVP weapon. It's just kind of like, I, uh, I don't like the perks. Like let's, let, like, let's just say, like, I don't like the perks. No distractions, I hate that perk. Although it might be really good for a sniper rifle. It probably is really good for a sniper rifle. Uh, under pressure, why even would I? Uh, surplus would probably be the only one that I really think about getting. Mulligan would probably be the best one that people would, would want to get to get a discount. Um, whatever that sniper was that killed uh, ammo economy. Snapshot sights will probably be the one that people will want to get. So that way it doesn't feel like an aggressive frame. But even at the next row, like maybe, you know what? Snapshot sights and opening shot will probably be the role that people want to go for. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm not much of a sniper. So for me, like I just can immediately ignore this one because I just have no interest in it. If it had uh, triple tap, then for sure I would go for it as hard as I could because I know for damn sure I'm never getting the frozen one because the frozen orbit one, which is the sniper rifle from Crucible. I'm never getting that because uh, the chances of me getting that are fucking ridiculous and I've given up on it. So that's pretty much it guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I think Finite Impactor is like the best one from this. Not saying, that's not saying much because it's just two weapons, but even from other seasons, I think this is like the best Iron Banner weapon we've gotten so far because it just feels so good. Although maybe this SMG beats it by a little bit. I just don't know. But once we get the new weapons from Iron Banner, I'll definitely review those as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I thank everyone for coming up to this point, And I also thank people who actually come to my streams. I really appreciate it. I've been trying to stream more just because uh, it's another way that you guys can basically interact with me and it's a uh, good quality content uh we have fun so be safe guys if you guys come to my stream just say hi call me a potato whatever it is and i will see you guys later